What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing a review of the 11 year old Lagavulin Mick Offerman edition. This one's done in collaboration with Guinness. It's got the symbol on the side here in my uh, busted up box or damaged box anyway. 46%. This one checks all the boxes. I do believe that the color might be enhanced a little bit. They probably put a couple of drops of E150. It could be from the Guinness casks as well because Guinness tends to be a little bit darker. Obviously it's a stout. So it's quite possible that there is mostly cask influence on that color as opposed to E150. But I'm pretty certain that Lagavulin adds some color once in a while. Gonna nose this, taste it and give it a mark. Okay, so definitely Lagavulin identifiable on the nose. All right, you got your briny, lemony, creamy kind of notes. Nice Lagavulin style peat. Been trying to really like focus in on how to describe the various Isla peats because they're all different. Lagavulin is one way, Lafroy is another, Ardbeg is another. Um, this one, it's like a little bit smoky, but mostly on the briny side when it comes to a lot of wooling. Think like wet rocks, salty, with like a distant campfire smell in the background, like very, very distant. Okay, obviously some are a little bit smokier than others. This one's not very smoky at all. But that's coming from a guy that drinks a lot of peated whiskey. So bear that in mind when you're drinking your own. If you're not big into peat, you'll get a little bit more smoke than I'm getting on the nose. I tend to get a little bit more on the palate. You do get like some Guinness or beer-like characteristics. I wouldn't specifically say Guinness or Stout-like, um, but there's a sweetness that I find is very prominent when you uh, age a whiskey in a beer cask. So there is a sweetness there. On the pot. Nice strength. I love the ABV of this. The viscosity is there as well. Some upfront sweetness, that lemony style that you're used to with Lagavulin. The Guinness is really most noticeable on the finish of this whiskey. It really comes through that like chocolatey kind of coffee type stout. That's what I get on the back end here. And then that sweetness and a little bit more smoke on the palate than there is on the nose for sure. Again. Yeah, so light smoke up front with a lemony type sweetness. Mid palate, a little bit sweeter. Definitely get some beer notes in there as well. On the finish, smoky, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate on the dark side of chocolate, but there is a nice sweetness there as well. Kind of like that uh, candied lemon peel kind of note. So you definitely get the Guinness, but I'm thinking it's more on the back end, more on the finish of this whiskey. And not a whole lot. Like if I gave you this whiskey to you, you would just think it's a Lagavulin or, you know, uh, if you're not familiar with Lagavulin, it's a peated whiskey with some sweetness. I don't think you'd necessarily pin out that this has been aged in a beer cask or a Guinness cask, for example. Honestly, really good overall. Nice finish. A really easy everyday kind of whiskey. You don't have to really play with it at all. You don't have to add water if you don't want to. It's a pour and play kind of whiskey. Um, we got this at a really good deal. We got this around a hundred bucks each bottle, but I think the retail on it was about 120 bucks Canadian. Okay, so even at that price, I would definitely be willing to pay that. Uh, really good whiskey overall. I think this is probably about an 87, all right? I'm gonna go with an 87 on this one. Very, very good whiskey. Um, could go as high as an 88. I don't think too many people would be upset at that mark, 
Uh, but I'm going to give this one an 87. I think it's very, very good. I guess why I'm holding back a little bit is I don't know if the Guinness cask really does too much to say, wow, that was definitely necessary. Um, I don't know if it was. It's cool. I, I don't know much about Nick Offerman, but I hear a lot of people really like that show that he's in. Um, and he drinks a lot of Lagavulin in the show. But overall, it's a good whiskey. Is it phenomenal? No, not phenomenal. There's better expressions from Lagavulin. I would probably still take the eight-year-old over this whiskey. I'd probably still take the, tw well, I definitely would take the 12-year-old over this whiskey. So um, not necessary to pay the extra money for the 11-year-old when you can get the eight-year-old for a very good deal, all right? But very good overall, and I would definitely buy this again if the opportunity arose. That's it for me, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Get the bell to get notifications for when I do release a video, and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.